very dark. That's reason enough to come to Woodstock, Vermont. Really cool. It's unbelievable. That thing is incredible. Good morning. Like our new ride? The car that we had before, the gas mileage was out of control, so. Well, today we are going to what is claimed to be the most beautiful town in the United States. Can I drive first? Excuse me, I'm trying to record a video here. That's right. We are going to the town of Woodstock, Vermont. Yeah. But first, we gotta get there, so let's go for a ride. I say it's kind of a terrifying drive, having a new driver like this. But we'll get to Woodstock eventually. It's about two hours away. <laughs> Zealand by car. It's only about 12 hours by this thing. We'll get there in no time. Okay, forward. It's going pretty fast today. Yeah. Well, we're not even to the town of Woodstock yet. We're technically inside the city limits. The town is just like less than a mile west of us here. But you can already tell why this town is known as the most beautiful town in America. One thing, I mean, look at this. Absolutely stunning out here. I mean, our car's pretty, but look beyond the car. Look at that. And then if you turn this way, look at this. That's reason enough to come to Woodstock, Vermont. Just this bridge, but there is so much more. We're not even to the town yet. Wait until we get to the town. When we get to the town, you're gonna, I don't know what you're gonna do. You're gonna like it, that's for sure. Welcome to Woodstock, Vermont the most beautiful town in America. You might be thinking this is like where Woodstock took place, but it is not. Woodstock took place about an hour or so outside of this town in a farm somewhere. I don't know what the relation is with this town and the rock and roll event, but I tell you what, this town lives up to its reputation. It is by far the most beautiful town I have ever seen in my life. It is spectacular. Christmas trees. Look at this boy. Any town that has this outside of their business is a town for me. Oh my gosh. Look, this is just in the middle of town. This is Teagle's Landing. Look at the beauty here. These are the steps you walk down to get to the beautiful place. Look at those old steps there. See, so you had a shoe problem. Mm-hmm. Get it fixed right up. That's what moms do. Moms just fix things. Constantly fixing things that their kids do wrong, that their husbands do wrong. It's just fixing things. You're hungry, okay, I'll fix that. Your shoe's broke, okay, I'll fix that. The house is dirty, I'll fix it. Moms are just fixers, dear. What we do? Not talkers on camera, that's not what they do. I want to sit on that porch forever. They have a white picket fence with this yard and that house and this view. You've got to be kidding me. If you're a fan of old television like we are, there's an old TV show from the 1960s called, oh my gosh, look at this. 
I can't even talk to you because it's so stunning. Anyways, The Twilight Zone is the show. And there's an episode of The Twilight Zone where this guy dies. He doesn't know it. He goes raccoon, raccoon hunting, dies, and ends up in the most picturesque, perfect town in the world. And you either go there or you go to Hades, you go to hell. And he ends up going to heaven in the town. And that episode looks an awful lot like this. Just makes me nervous. I might be dead. Imagine all the words becoming real. This town gets better and better. This is awesome. Look out this window. This town is just like real life Mayberry. I mean, you look out this, this street, look at this window and this building, and it's just perfect Americana, beautiful perfection. All the shops are filled with friendly people and amazing goods. It is pretty dang spectacular. These things are actually to hold flowers. That's what they're used for. I've seen them in so many other towns, empty and full of weeds, but flowers go in them. So the town of Woodstock was founded in 1761. It got its name years and years and years later because the Woodstock Railroad came through here and this was a flourishing town. It was one of the early tourist destinations of America. We've been all over the country and America is a gorgeous place full of amazing towns and amazing people but this town this time of year in fall I don't know how you can get much better. Just don't know. While you're watching this video you might be thinking you know there's this other town that I've been to here in Vernon State and you should check that out. If you know of a town that you think is the most beautiful, most perfect town in America, share it in the comments below. But in the meantime, keep watching because we've got a lot more of this town and a lot more gorgeousness to share with you. Remember Clifford the Big Red Dog? Yes. I know, we should get their Halloween episode. Okay. We're on Elm Street and we found the house for us. It's for sale and they said they'll trade in a trailer, like a 2004, trailer that's been renovated they said just take the house for the trailer we we might do that oh my gosh i can't even tell you how spectacular this is since i can't tell you how amazing it is i'm just gonna keep saying words like wow and oh my gosh to try to describe to you how incredible this is <laughs> ah, we finished lunch and now it's off to more glorious places here in woodstock Vermont. What a place. It really is spectacular. And the cool thing is after this we're going to a real maple syrup farm. Like the real deal. Now they're obviously not getting syrup right now. They do that in uh, the winter. They do it in winter. But it's going to be cool to go to the farms and see the trees and see how it works. Kind of excited about that. But first, a bookstore. Oh look at the color in here. So you guys, wow. this is where they make maple syrup. What did you say? What did you say? That was an annoying drive. Sometimes, I tell you, kids just get crazy and loud in the car, and you're in a beautiful place, and you're just like, be quiet, stop it, and then they just get worse. And then you get to a place that you love, and you're just like, I don't even care anymore. Just get it out. Get it out of my system. Okay, it's gone. Listen, if you didn't think the town was beautiful enough, just 13 minutes outside of town is this maple syrup farm. Look at this place. It is spectacular. The Sugar Bush Farm. It's been open since 1946, family owned. So you can go into the house, they show you how they tap, they make cheese and everything here too, and then all the maple syrup and it's a real family working farm. That's just crazy. I mean, it is a real family, like there's the family's house, I would assume. That's crazy cool. <laughs> What's your name? Well, hi, 
Hi, Domino. Look at that. Hi, Just born in July. Starving. <laughs> <laughs> So it takes about 40 gallons of sap to make about that much maple syrup. I don't know how much that is. It's a very technical scientific measurement that I can't explain to you. Super cool thing we learned is that they actually do still use horses and sleighs to go out and get their syrup because they said it's just quicker and easier because of the treacherous terrain and really deep snow. It's just the easiest way to come out and get it. That's pretty awesome. Look how stunningly gorgeous this is. You okay? Yeah. That was to simulate what it's like to walk in the snow with these buckets. And I could tell that Malachi got the bucket and was like, this is easy. <laughs> No, that was not easy just from grabbing it. That was so hard just from grabbing it. <laughs> Those things are heavy. Guaranteed, if Malachi made it through without falling, he would have been like, that's easy, it's just easy. I can do this all the time. Well, even just carrying it, those things are heavy. That's <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. We, we laugh when our kids get harmed. When our kids get unhurtedly harmed, we laugh. Listen, go push a kid down. A kid that you know, Preferably your own kid. Just go push him over. Make sure he doesn't get hurt. Guarantee you'll laugh though. Ooh. The Farmer's Creed. I believe hard work and honest sweat are the building blocks of a person's character. I believe when a man grows old and sums up his days, he should be able to stand tall and feel pride in the life he's lived. I believe true happiness comes from watching your crops ripen in the field. Your children grow tall in the sun, your whole family feel the pride that springs from the shared experience. I believe in farming because it makes all this possible. Well, this day has been stinking fantastic. I like the postcard. If you ever make it anywhere near Vermont, you've got to stop in at Sugarbrush or Woodstock? Both. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you would subscribe to our channel, we would appreciate it. That way we can have more subscribers and feel like there's, you know, we, this you're not you're not enough for us. We're just like so. Thank you.